Hello everybody, Julian from Julian Tech TM and today I am at Ryan's place. Welcome to another episode! Oh no, 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 Ryan needs some help with oh, his cable yeah. management, right? Ryan management. I put on my Instagram the QA. Everybody is just saying, ah Julian, ah Julian, ah Julian. So then I ask you. I'm gonna assess your cable management. Yes. You you wait first. Okay. I'm gonna okay. show the mess. <laughs> what is all this? And then below also. Oh, oh, oh golly. God. Oh god, a beautiful house but a shitty wire management <laughs> yeah. So no problem, I will help you with it. Thank you! Okay, assessing the cables, it seems like there's a lot of devices here that are not plugged in because cable management is damn bad. They have a very short wire for, or rather Ryan has a very short LAN wire. So that one is connected to here, so that's why this is in this area instead of the corner but I think the first thing I need to do is to just take out all the unnecessary stuff then things can be clear I can see it a lot better because now it's just too messy for me to start anywhere the table is clear so it's a lot better at least we can start with down here <laughs> still a big thing to overcome yes doggy bless you bless you Stop. But yeah, I think we have to try to get this PC to one side, try to get this in here. But I think that's a problem because of the legs. But yeah, we'll see what we can do. I'll say the first thing I need to do is just take out all the cables. They have vertical mounts. Okay, so this PC is made by Aftershock. Ooh, there's an Aftershock logo here too. Look at that, there's an Aftershock logo. I didn't know there's an Aftershock logo with this Lenly case. So I managed to fit the PC here. There are upsides and downsides. Upside is that you have a lot of leg room here now, right? The, the PC here is you're, you're restricting comfort. The downside, you don't get to see the PC. But Ryan, you care about seeing your PC or not, right? Just run good carry, right? Yeah, you can see. Raise this higher. All right, no power. Raise this higher. What for have a table that can do this if your cable management is not neat enough for you to do it, right? Oh no, oh no. Okay. At least I now have a lot of space to do the cable management. They have this Ethernet cable. You can see these two Ethernet cable that is connected to the table and then they're gonna have the table. So it's basically a, a female to female uh, Ethernet port here. I think the first thing I have to cut all this so that I can use one of the cables to go to that PC instead of going through the table then going down. One of the Ethernet cables will be to a switch so that there are small pots for the table and for the Wi-Fi. So this one will use Wi-Fi for now. Yeah, there is a Wi-Fi card. Let me show you the tools I have to help with cable management. I have double-sided tape, Velcro, a lot of zip ties, and a cable holder. Uh, let's, let's just take this out and see what I can do with it. Ah, this cable is not long enough. To make things clearer, there are three clusters of cables. Aftershock PC, the extra PC, and the table. I first worked on the table cables that consist of the power for the table, the power bar, and the ethernet port. I cable tied the table cables together and tied it to the leg of the table so that it's hidden at the back. Then, the Aftershock PC cables. Instead of using cable ties, I used Velcro strips so that it's easier for Ryan to change his keyboard and or mouse or any devices in the future if he wants to. Removing the Velcro is much easier than removing cable ties and Velcro is also reusable. I had planned to tie the cables to the table leg but unfortunately the display cable was too short so I ended up using the white cable casing. First PC about done, haven't done that PC but it's about done because I say like this area is not very nice but I'll say the bottom area as near as it can be. You can see the shadows, oh no, actually can see the shadows of the cables. Oh, I didn't notice that but yeah a lot of the cables have to be hidden like over here which is actually very difficult because there's not a lot of space I can add in. The peripherals not too bad. I use velcro here because for peripherals you might need to change so you want easy access and you don't want to just cable tie it because if you cable tie it you have to cut the whole thing and redo it whereas this one you can take out the velcro and then you can put it back. Although you can see a lot of cables here I think this needs to be done because this you need to be movable the mic. With moving tables you really need good cable management because if you don't do it right, it might damage your cable, damage your PC, damage your port. I don't know, man. 
But yeah, we're gonna neaten this up. <sighs> Now the extra PC cables. Actually, there's not much to say about this part. It's actually easier than the previous two cable clusters. It's just a matter of making it neat. So you just need patience. One thing I added is two cable holders for the Ethernet cable so that it looks a bit neater than just letting it lie there. Then all that's left is to hide the excess cables at the back of the table. Okay, after four hours, it's uh, somewhat done. done. What it do you think? Sour, I think it's perfect. I think. No, like, you, know, you know the thing is, if it's any neater, then you will give up functionality. Yeah, no, I need functionality. Yeah, because... so it's a good balance of functionality yeah. and need. Yeah. So because my gaming, gaming setup and editing setup is very different accessories. Yeah. yeah so this, this will be a lot useful. Yeah, so things like um, the mic, you want it to be movable, that's More why the, slack. yeah, you have some slack here. Also, you will have a lot of SD card readers around. Yeah. So I think one thing you can add, right, is like a small box where you can at least add, yeah. you know. That would be a perfect idea. Yeah, I'll like you can put it over here or yeah. put it on the right where you can just stuff everything. All, because there's, there's still a lot of stuff here. Like, which, still quite a bit, like, yeah, it's just extra cables, yeah, just mouse extra, and, yeah. and card readers. Well. Yeah, card readers. Yeah. So that's the thing that can make it even um, neater and that's still that. more functionable. So what do you think? Well, like 10 of 10. Oh, thank you very I much, wish, man. Thank I you very much. Back, uh, where, uh, NOC, you can do the entire office. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, that one, uh, NOC uh, office uh, is a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. It will take like one week to do all the cable management. <laughs> but okay, one, one problem is, right, uh, I already changed the spotlight, right. so but the problem is that it will flash into your face. Oh no, I set up on this one. Right? Okay, oh. yeah, so because the if, if you see below, right, it's a lot better now. You don't ah, see yeah, the, the shadow. Yeah, the there, shadow. Right? Yeah. Okay. Another satisfied customer. Hire him if you want to get your wire management. <laughs> In case you don't want to do YouTube, you yeah. can call to wire management. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna recap on what I did. You actually need a lot of zip ties, a lot of Velcros, and let's start on with below. This part, I didn't put this white uh, plastic because I feel like you can just hide it behind the stand. Uh, here, there's a lot of cable ties because this is permanent. This one is all Velcro because if in the event you need to change a mouse, a keyboard, webcam, whatsoever, you can at least take this out, take out the Velcro, remove it and put the Velcro together. So all this is power for the table, power for the bar, the power bar I will show you later, and the internet port over here. I don't think you can see very well, but internet port. So if you come up here, I actually didn't show this. They have this bar. Of power which you know you can move it anywhere you want you can move it you can move it here move it here lock it in which is pretty cool the only problem is is face only one way you can't face it the other way which that, that's the only thing that sucks so there is a limitation because if you see here where this is to the computer this is to the monitor and this is for the speakers you have to kind of run it this way which is not ideal but what can do what can do. This part took a lot longer because there is the power for the table and the power bar. Whereas this one is a lot simpler because it's just a monitor, keyboard, mouse, which is, you know, the mouse is wireless, so even easier. But yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. We are 500 subscribers away from 20,000 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. I'm still thinking on what to do for my 20k sub video. But until then, I'll see y'all next week and I am done. Bye guys.